So as I mentioned, this is an HP ProBook 6470B. It's a business grade laptop. It has a 14.1 inch screen. It runs an Intel Core i3 third generation processor in it, and that's clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. It has a 300 gigabyte hard drive in it, although I will be replacing it with an SSD. It has eight gigs of DDR3 memory, and it has 802.11 AB, G, and N wireless. Now, this has Windows 7 Professional on it, and uh, I will be upgrading that to Windows 10. Now, on the back of the laptop, it looks like we have a VGA port, an Ethernet port. This looks like a 9-cell battery back here, which is nice. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, you have the screws to mount the system together. On what is the left-hand side of the device, you have your power port, you have a FireWire port, and then you have two USB 3.0 ports here, and under that you have your SD card slot. I think you can see it there. Over here is the DVD slash CD drive, and then above that is your Express card slot. On the front of the laptop, you have a couple of LEDs over here. You have your latch here and some venting towards the bottom here. On the right hand side of the laptop, you have a headphone jack, a microphone jack, an eSATA port, and a USB 2.0 port, as well as a display port here. And back here, you have your Kensington lock and more venting here. On the bottom of the laptop, you have a lot of venting here. You have the dock port here and of course the battery here and you have looks like six little rubberized feet. Now of course if you want to remove the battery you've got this slider here you can remove that that way we'll leave that on but the other slider here is meant to remove the back here it's actually very cool like I said these business laptops are very accessible very modular and with this HP laptop here you can actually move this lever over here and pull this entire back piece off. And it exposes everything here. You've got your RAM, you've got everything, you've got your wireless card, you have your DVD drive, and then you have your hard drive in this case, which again, I will be replacing with an SSD. Now being that everything is modular like this, it makes the laptop thicker, but as far as I'm concerned, it's an even trade-off. I'll go with a little bit of a thicker laptop if I can work with what's on the inside. Now, again, you have this docking station connector here. I will be looking into getting a docking station. Uh, station. I wonder how that's going to work with the extended battery here, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, I always liked the latching mechanism on business laptops. They don't really, you don't really see that too much anymore, but I do like it. So as you open this up, or as I open this up, the lid feels pretty sturdy, but it moves very smoothly. So there's not a whole lot of resistance to moving the lid here, but it is firm. So as you can see, the base of this laptop is mostly a metal construction, which makes it, again, more sturdy. You have a chiclet keyboard. You have your touch point here. I don't really use that. I prefer a two-finger scroll. Hopefully a two-finger scroll will, will work on this computer. you got your ProBook branding here. Of course, you have your mouse buttons here. It's not a clickable touchpad. It has Windows 7 Pro on it, and again, it's a Core i3. Now, this does have a fingerprint reader on it, and I will be initiating that under the Windows operating system that I'm going to be running on this, but once I switch it to Linux, we'll see if that's going to work at all. We have a power button up here, and then we have a couple of other buttons up top here, one of which looks like a Wi-Fi button. This is a globe button, so I don't know exactly what that's going to do, if that brings up an internet browser or what, I don't know. And then you have a mute button up top there. Other than that, everything seems fairly standard as far as the keyboard is concerned, and the keys feel good. There's a decent amount of travel on them, even though it is a chiclet style keyboard, and everything seems pretty firm. So here's the 14.1 inch screen. It is a matte screen, 
And if you know anything about my channel here, I will take a matte screen over a glossy screen. You have your HP branding down here. You have your ProBook 6470B branding over here. Everything is a matte black plastic on the bezel. You do have your uh, webcam up top here with two microphones. Of course, you have your rubber bumper all the way around the lid here. I do apologize for that noise. I'm filming this in my dining room and that is my loud refrigerator. Up top here you do have the latches that latch down into the bottom and keep everything securely closed. So let's fire this thing up. Let's see if it has a charge. It seems to have a charge. So here we go. We've got Windows 7 loaded up on this and I would have shown you the boot up time but it had to do some updates as it was booting up. Now fortunately this is a multi-touch trackpad so I can do the the taps on it and the scrolling with the two fingers and whatnot so I don't have to worry about using that track point on here. Although I know a lot of people do love that track point. I just never have gotten used to it. So, so far, I mean, I really haven't played with it at all, but uh, so far I'm really happy with this purchase. Again, I don't mind a thicker laptop if it's more accessible to me that I can actually work on it. It's a perfect size, I think 14 inches is a great size for a laptop. The build quality on this device is excellent. It has the extended battery. So I always like to test how far the screen goes back on a laptop and as you can see this one goes all the way back. Not quite like a yoga laptop of course, but um, I don't need this to wrap around. It's just nice when it'll go back as far as possible because sometimes actually if I'm laying in bed and I have this on my knees then it's nice to put the screen kind of far back. I don't necessarily need it that far back, probably be more like that, but the further the back the better. And again, like I said, this isn't very loose. It is smooth in movement and you can do it with one hand, but it's not loose at all, which is good. The further the back the better. It's funny what I find when I edit these videos, what I say. Uh, sometimes I don't know why things come out of my mouth the way they do, but I left it in the video for you. So that video of me unboxing the HP laptop, the HP ProBook 6470B, uh, that was shot on February 5th, 2016. So at the time of filming this video, that's about three and a half years ago. And I have since sold the HP ProBook 6470B, so I no longer have it in my possession. But for the time that I did have it, which was definitely over three years, maybe not three and a half years, but definitely over three years, the time I had that laptop, I really loved it. I had full intent of putting Linux on that laptop, but I never ended up doing that. Uh, if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that one of my more popular videos was putting Ubuntu on a phone. I also had a uh, not so well received series of videos called Living in Linux and I never actually finished it. So uh, that was actually, you know, putting Linux on a laptop and then using it as a daily driver. Um, the videos, I could have done a lot better on those videos. They weren't very well received, so I kind of just uh, abandoned the project and I wanted to reboot it with this laptop, with this HP ProBook. And it just never ended up happening because I never put Linux on the laptop. The only thing I ever did with that laptop was I upgraded it to Windows 10 and I put an SSD in there and it worked great. Uh, it wasn't necessarily my daily driver, but for Windows, whenever I needed Windows on a laptop, I used that laptop. And I played Steam games on there. It was not a powerhouse graphically, but it did have integrated Intel graphics in it, and it could play games like Fear, like Her Story, things that weren't so graphically intensive. And I did play some games on there. I did use it for resume writing and uh, some other things, but um, it was a great laptop. The last uh, time that I actually used it. I have PlayStation View as my cable provider, if you will, and I would use the, uh, I would have HGTV on my laptop as I was renovating my uh, master bedroom. So it was a way for me to get motivated to, you know, do some home improvements as I was renovating my master bedroom, and I would play 
HGTV constantly on that laptop while I was doing the renovations in there. So it was a trusty machine, but I have since passed it on to its new owner. And it's not because it was an incapable machine. The reason I do these videos and the reason I feel that it's beneficial to actually still publish these videos to YouTube is that you can find great technology that's maybe not the newest technology, but you can find a laptop on eBay or, uh, you know, any second, second seller uh, uh, marketplace. You can find very adequate computing products. Now, one thing, just in case you're hearing outdoor noises, I have the window open because it's a beautiful day. So I apologize if that gets distracting. But uh, this laptop, that the HP ProBook 6470, I bought it on eBay for $165.90. At the time of purchasing that in February of 2016, that was quite a bargain. Now you can find capable machines brand new at your retailer, Best Buy, Amazon, whatever. You can find those machines, maybe not quite that inexpensive, but you can find maybe in the two, $300 range, you can find quite capable machines. But the purpose of still publishing this video is to let you know that you can find capable machines at a very low price. That HP laptop I sold for, I believe, around $70. So uh, you can find these great machines that still have a lot of life left in them, have a lot of use left in them, and you can find them for very little money comparatively when you compare it to the new machines that are out there. And I continue to buy these older machines. I have a Dell machine that uh, actually is a little more powerful than the HP ProBook that I put Ubuntu on and that was gonna be my next living in Linux. I never did that. So now I have a Lenovo machine that I will be doing the living in Linux series with maybe. Uh, I have Linux Mint on that. So stay tuned for that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a throwback. Uh, we're gonna throw those in the mix from time to time. And of course, we're always gonna do the reviews, unboxings, tutorials of new products, older products, and we're gonna talk about all things technology. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please post them down below. If you wanna help out this channel, give me a thumbs up. You can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.